WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down uh, right now, uh, uh, 267. Nasdaq's down 283. S&P's off 57. Gold. Gold contract down $18.20 at 1853 an ounce. Yet silver off 31 cents, 21 dollars 96 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Look at that, my baby. Ooh, baby. Up 265. $119.51. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading up nine, uh, down nine ticks right now at 118.18. You get the 30-year up down 19 ticks at 138.04, and, and uh, uh, the 10-year right now, folks, is yielding 2.953. King dollar, king dollar right now up a 315 ticks, trading 102, 139, euro 107, yen 130, and the British pound at 125 to one U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P. Bottom line, folks, you get a whole sideways week out here. That's the building cause for lower price. You take a look at this and, you know, you get a four-day work week here and just go sideways. Um, that is setting up lower prices coming at us. Now, it's going to be pretty intriguing because the bottom line is that, uh, you know, you couldn't get any traction whatsoever inside of this market. We go take a look at the three Qs, same setup inside the three Qs. Bottom line, you get a sideways move all, all week long. Um, on the aspect of a failure... On the weekly, that's exactly what we have. What we did here is that you got over the highs of last week. You're going to close underneath them, and you're going to have lighter volume. Let's take, uh, let's see. Yeah, you're going to have lighter volume because you got to remember something. This is a four-day work week, so what you have to do is you have to add a day on. But even adding a day on, you're going to have lighter volume. So that's a failure. The Q's got over the 309. You're at 306.44. You go back to the spies. Same type of setup in the spies. The spies right now, what they did on the weekly, put that baby up. So what you're going to see on the weekly is that, you know, you had volume last week of uh, 426. Right now you're at 313. So you're really going to say, okay, it's a good 400. You know, if you, when you add the day on, what you do is you take today's volume, bottom, you can take weekly volume, divide it by four, multiply it by five. That gives you bottom line what it would be for five days. And that's still going to be lighter than the week of last week. And the bottom line, you can see right off the bat that uh, bottom line, as we went higher, you had that contraction of volume. That is saying, guess what? Hold on to your socks, man, because this thing's going to be going after that potential B point of an ABC structure down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better.